Okay, now, finally got our specimens to the point where they're about halfway up in the petri dish there with a solid layer of paraffin underneath them. And the trick, the final trick to casting uh, that prevents air bubbles and cracks from forming in the paraffin as it cools is to cool it quickly. So I'm going to take this paraffin here, this petri dish of paraffin in it, and I'm going to go ahead and lower it into this ice water bath. Now that's going to cool very, very rapidly. Let me zoom in so you can see better what's going on with that. That's going to go ahead and cool on the top. I'm going to flash it once to make sure that it does cool from the bottom up. And of course, it's just going to sit there until it begin until it cools to the point where I can actually submerge it. If you need to add ice along the way, some of it begins to melt. Having your ice bucket handy is indispensable. Make sure you don't splash water into the paraffin while it's still in its liquid state. It's very important. And you can see that the paraffin is starting to develop a little bit of a skin on the top. I'm going to wait till that's more or less completely solid and then we'll go ahead and dunk it and that will finish the cooling process. To determine if it's there yet, you can go ahead and nudge it with the probe. Here it's still quite liquid. I do want to allow it to get a little more solid than that. You can see it's starting to solidify around the edges there very well. Just need this skin on top to get a little more solid. is more like it. So more or less solid sheen of paraffin on top, remembering the paraffin's impervious to water. So we can just go ahead and dunk this bugger, perhaps a little more gracefully than that, all the way under the water. Let it sit on the bottom. If you have a Copeland jar or some other similar heavy item around that you can go ahead and balance on top of it, that works really well. Let me go ahead and back you up here. And then I can sit there while you prep another sample and bring it on through to the point where it needs to be cooled off. And five minutes at least before that should be nice and cool, um, at least for these small dishes. Uh, and beyond that, I mean, it can sit in the ice water for as long as you have room for it to sit in the ice water. And again, that's going to cool.
spool the paraffin block to the point where it's solid throughout. Nice and solid. No cracks, no blemishes. Um, all set and ready to go. So, usually just go ahead and give this once over with a Kim wipe to dry it off. There's your label on the bottom there to identify what the specimen is. Throw a lid on it, and you've got specimen embedded in wax all ready to go. Thank you for joining me.